Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Greetings, dear brethren. On this, the first Saturday of the month of October, where we have St. Regimus, Bishop and Confessor, and obviously uh, keeping the first Saturday, Friday tradition, uh, commemorating the Sacred Heart uh, Mass. And then in the new uh, calendar, or at least to those who follow by the 62, I think it might be in the 1962 Missal, um, they have today uh, St. Therese, the Child Jesus. Um, though here at the Friar we follow an older calendar, so... Uh, she is not in our ordo, but nonetheless, uh, someone of a great virtue and highly to be interceded for. And uh, I can think of no better way to get to know this wonderful saint than reading the book about her, The Story of a Soul, which I encourage you all to take up for great uh, spiritual encouragement and support. And reading if you have not already read it uh, it's fairly cheap and you can pick up a copy almost in any good traditional or Catholic um, uh, bookstore or online so I highly encourage that to learn more about that wonderful saint uh, though we do not have her in our order nonetheless her life of virtue and obedience and humility is a great necessity for us to take heed of in these times. The saint we have today is known as the Apostle of France. He was one of the first bishops to go to that region and converting thousands upon thousands of faithful and talking with the kings of the area and most notably known for setting up many seas which uh, are dioceses, uh, you know, making uh, dioceses, churches, and all that. So, giving a good foundation for Holy Mother Church in the land known as France. And there's a reason why we have in the gospel today for the saint that it is the uh, parable of the talents. And what does that mean for us? You know, you can hear so many people say, how many talents has the Lord given me? You know, am I one of those who were given five or given two or was I given one? And what do we do with it? It doesn't matter how many talents we are given. What matters is what we do with those talents are we able to multiply them bear fruit bring souls closer to Christ and for eternal salvation first and foremost our own are we cooperating with the graces that our Lord has given us those are our talents the sacraments the graces the treasure trove of Holy Mother Church, the sacramentals. All those wonderful aspects of Holy Mother Church that seem so many Catholics, quote-unquote, don't even know about anymore. But for us who remain faithful to tradition, remain faithful, Keep our hands in the treasure chest, if you will. Do we truly utilize them in the way that we're supposed to? Are we able to convert souls to Christ? Do we open our heart to unite it with the Sacred Heart? in the Immaculate Heart, in the Most Chaste Heart. 
So as we begin this month, this month, another month dedicated to our Blessed Mother. In a sense, all the months really could be dedicated to her in some way or another. But we know that she does not like to be the center of attention necessarily. And all the attention should be given to her son, our Lord. But nonetheless, we know the best route to get to her son, our Lord, is of course through her. So we make appeasements to her. We petition her. We enjoy her motherhood in our daily life. And so let us, this month of October, take great solace in her rosary. An encouragement that praying the rosary with certain intentions, primarily those intentions for the liberty and exaltation of Holy Mother Church, that these heresies and influences of diabolical disruption may be overthrown, and for the sanctification of our souls and the conversion of those loved ones that we entrust to our Blessed Mother. Wearing the bronze scapular, praying the rosary, praying the little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary are a few short things that we can do to truly sanctify ourselves so we can become like Saint Rigimus and convert thousands of souls to Christ. Bring thousands of souls to eternal salvation through the merits of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And by us cooperating with those merits, cooperating with those graces. Let us never take anything for granted. Let us never think of ourselves in a false humility sense that we are not worthy or we are not good enough. For if we are baptized in the faith, in the church, if we are confirmed in the faith, and we are practicing the faith by the grace of Almighty God and our Blessed Virgin Mary, we are worthy enough to go out and bring the grace, the truth, the love to this world in most desperate need. Through the Sacred Heart, through the Immaculate Heart, through the cooperation of our own heart united to theirs, we will change the world. We will change ourselves for a greater glory for all eternity to be united with them in heaven. May God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.